So hi guys, in this video, we're gonna learn how to sort Google Form data or responses into separate sheets based on the class section given in the response. So when we go to Google Sheet to see the summary of responses to our Google Form, we can see that the data are being stored in one sheet, that is Form Responses 1. Now, what we should do in order to segregate this data based on a category? So let us look at an example. So if you want to submit your uh, output online, if you have an internet connection at home or you have a data, just go to our GC and look for the link, the submission link that I sent. So if you sa GC, hahanapin yung link na binigay ko. So ito yung link. If you can memorize it, https colon slash tinyurl.com slash laguda pilo submission link you click that and then you will be redirected to to the form pag click yan, piliin ang section i-click ang next hanapin ang pangalan hanapin ang file sa PC siguraduhin na rename na rename nyo ang inyong file so hanapin kung saan nakasave introduction to the philosophy. Uh, palitan yung one, yung week one, ng inyong uh, pangalan at apelido. And then click upload. So, hihintayin ninyo matapos na mag-upload. Okay, now that it is done, uploading, tapos na siya mag-upload, makikita nyo siya dito. Nandiyan na siya yung file. So, ang i-click mo next ay yung submit. Click submit. So, once nakasubmit ka na, makikita mo na ito. Your output has been submitted. Stand by for feedback. So, maghintay kasi kung naka-upload na kayo, iti-text ko kayo na nareceive ko na, okay, iti-chat, okay, natawagan ko kayo na nareceive ko na ang inyong output. So the previous video is from my cell phone. So if I'm gonna open that link in my laptop, so it would look like this in edit mode. So as you can see, it meron na siyang uh, isang response that was me. So if I click the summary, the, the spreadsheet, so it will create a new spreadsheet or you can select an existing one where you wanna probably select so I will select since I already have yeah, so that will automatically open so we now have form responses one in the um, existing Google Sheet. So what I need to do is to transfer Yums in another Google Sheet. So I will click this add button here. I will name it Yums. Enter. So in this uh, cell A1 this is cell A1 I'm gonna put uh, I will copy paste this code I will explain it okay so this will be the code that we need to type in so this is the 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 function is query so you type that open parenthesis so the value for this query is data and query so the headers are optional so we will not be using that so okay for this this is this indicates so this is mand uh, mandatory the the single apostrophe here this indicates that you will be getting the data from form responses tab one columns a to l okay so columns a to l if we will go back to our form responses sheet we can see that we 
have a to L. So if your data goes all the way here, you can, you will have to uh, change the column here. So columns A to L. The next is this a double quote indicates that uh, the the inside the text inside is a query so the code is select and then the columns that you want to be included in this google sheet okay so so in this case i will be needing only a d and uh, a b so a the timestamp b the section e the name and f the upload link e and so I will not I will not be needing the other columns. Okay, so the timestamp, section, name, and upload link. So here we have I have to to filter the data. So I will be needing uh, the the response the student whose section is Hume's 2. So, in this query, we're gonna uh, we're, we're gonna change the D into B because that is where our section is. And then change this to Hume's 2. Okay, so you see the data became uh, the data is copied on the on this sheet so if you want another google uh, another sheet for uh, for ICT for SMAO for EIM so you just need to repeat the steps but you will be needing a uh, you will need to change the column names here for E and F. So instead of E and F for ICT, you're gonna select C and D for small G and H. So that is how you can organize your responses in a Google form. So I hope you learned something from this video. So Thank you for watching, please subscribe and please like.